My name is Julie Fayfam Balzer, and today I want to introduce you to the space saving features on Scan and Cut 2. So let's look at that. So if I go into pattern and I choose one of the built in patterns from the machine, so let's just grab a fun shape. What looks like fun? How about, oh, this is, looks like a baseball home plate to me. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and hit set, and you can see it there. Now I only have one of them, but what if I had, oh, let's say three of them? So what I could do to make sure that I am saving all the space I want is I could go right into here, which is the auto layout space saving features. So the machine can arrange this for me, you can see in several different ways. So this way with all the triangles pointing up, you can guess it does it so that they're all pointing in the original direction. If I choose this next one, it's gonna rotate 180 degrees to fit them. And if I do this one, it's just gonna rotate it any possible way to make the most sense. Now, if you look at my mat, you can see that I have a piece of paper that's only 8 by 8, not 12 by 12. So that's easy enough to fix. So I'm just going to go ahead and press the wrench tool and right here where it says cut area, I'm going to press this little icon and now I'm going to drag the arrow in so that it's just under 8 by 8 and I can see the numbers right up here telling me exactly what it is if I want or I can use the grid lines that I can see on the screen just like that. Okay, so once I've arranged it and I'm happy, I'm going to go ahead and hit OK, OK again and now you can see it's showing me the actual area that I have. So now I can rearrange these let's go back into the auto layout function so there's not enough space on the mat so I what I need to do is I need to change the size of these and that's easy to do so I'm just gonna go ahead let's make one of these really small okay and now let's see if there's gonna be enough room to just lay it out exactly and there you go totally space saving so I can go ahead and hit OK OK and let's cut those out so you can see how this works so I'm simply going to use two hands to load my mat right into the machine and then I'm gonna choose cut and I'm gonna hit start and we are gonna cut out those home plate shapes So it's done cutting, I'm gonna pop it out, and you can see that this has almost no wasted space. Look how little and tiny those margins are right here, so that I have plenty of space to add more cuts. This is a great way to conserve your materials, and certainly if you're cutting the same shape over and over, it's an easy way to make sure that you maximize whatever it is you already have in your stash. So remember, see it, scan it, cut it, create it.